fusion mix. So salsa, bachata, merengue, and more. Taking place in the Oasis room on deck number nine. They're doing some the announcements for us. Uh, they had all the entertainment that's coming to tonight. Kind of weird that they have announcements actually in your stateroom. Usually there's just like one big announcement and then they don't do any announcements within your room. Kind of obnoxious, but it's whatever. It's really loud. But um, with that, welcome back to your Daily Dose. We're actually be kicking it off, I think, with some entertainment in about a half hour here, but you can see Laura is already gearing up for something. What you got? I'm ready for some Jimmy Buffett! Well, we, we had the drinks. Where'd those go? I cleaned them out. We have to get drinks. Oh, we're gonna go get some drinks. We also decided I think we're gonna get some wine tonight. And, um, yeah. We're also deciding if we're gonna show a lot of entertainment in this video, or is that gonna be in tomorrow? We're going with the flow. Here's our view. Pretty stellar, right? Like Jimmy Buffett, pretty stellar. We haven't seen him yet. You think we're gonna see him? We are totally gonna see Jimmy Buffett. Let's go. He's, he just lives on this shit. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Without doubt, the booziest, get it, the booziest? <laughs> mug. I've ever had in my life. Not bougie, but boozy. Boozy. All right, let's go to this party. Headed to the Stars on the Water Theater and Bar. Oh, there's people rope dropping this. They beat us. I'm going to get a sex on the beach. What are you getting? A dirty Shirley. Actually, you know what? It wouldn't be a cruise without a Long Island. Ooh, We're gonna Long Island. Going off the Long Island card. It's gonna be like a double Long Island because it's two in one year. <laughs> Honestly, half this drink is alcohol. I am kind of screwed. A splash of spray. Holy cow, <laughs> dude! Long Island was not the move. Thank you. One, two, four. Zero. 40 bucks. Yeah. That's crazy. But it's two drinks, so technically it's like 10 bucks. It's nuts. I'm seriously super scared to try this. Oh my god, that's horrible. That just sent, sent shivers down my spine. Oh my god. Okay, the second sip was a little bit better. I think I have to mix that. How's yours? It's strong. Yeah. This is Michael knows how to make the drink. A little bit too well. I never thought I'd say that in my life. Theater doors open 15 minutes before the show. Time to listen to all the Jimmy Buffett songs we know. Laura, how many songs do you know of his? One. <laughs> Margarita Bill. <laughs> Same. I don't know why some of these seats are reserved. Oh, concierge. Okay. Reserved. We can't sit here. Yeah, go over there. What about right here? Because this one doesn't have reserved. Laura, how are you feeling? I'm feeling great. I've had like 10 sips and I'm feeling it. All right, show time. Also, the Wi-Fi in here is, Matt, it's working for me. Don't get the Wi-Fi. It's not working for Laura. No. It's $25, it's, it's kind of a miss. It's a short cruise. I mean, it's old ship. Can't really build Wi-Fi on an old ship, so. Yeah. The drink was definitely worth the twenty dollars. Oh, Sit down in front. <laughs> it's five o'clock somewhere. This show just kind of confirms we don't know any Jimmy Buffett songs. So earlier, well, probably in yesterday's, yesterday's vlog, I said changes in latitudes mean changes in attitudes because it's on the building. But we singing the song lyric. Now. It's a song. It's song lyric. We're gonna get roasted. <laughs>
That was a good show, huh? I honestly, like, I really vibed with that. I love this cruise ship. Let's sit here and talk about it for a little bit. I have to go to the bathroom, but there, my one complaint is that there's not enough bathrooms on the cruise ship. <laughs> what do you want to do now? It's five o'clock Sunday. Or requests. You see what I'm putting down there. It's like jelly rolls at Disney. This tastes like juice now. Jelly rolls on the seas. Star. I think you're a shining star. Thank you, Kyle. Laura, how are you doing? Kyle! Laura, no. how are you feeling? No. When are we getting off the boat tomorrow? 8 a.m. It's 8.36. Want to get breakfast? Sure. Question, how did you sleep? Great, honestly. I think I did too. The pillows are really comfy. The bed is okay, but the pillows are great. They are really good pillows. Let's see if breakfast is great. Hopefully. I want some pancakes. What were you going to say? I was going to say I woke up at like 6 in the morning, mm. but other than that. Well, let's go. Let's go! Very curious what they have for breakfast this morning. Oh, another announcement. I feel like there's one every five minutes. Check this out. People are getting off the ship to enjoy the island for a couple days, and then they'll catch the ship a different day when it comes back. It's a cool little feature of the ship, and also Laura's been doing a good job at walking up the steps. Now, as long as you can get past this being an older ship, there being a lot of imperfections. This is a nice, really inexpensive, cheap cruise. Will I do it again? Um, I'll have to wait for tomorrow's verdict. But let's see what we'll have for breakfast. We got oatmeal, mushroom frita, that looks bad. Pancakes don't look the freshest here. These fresh pastries look pretty good. Oh, look at your uh, your meat selection. The bacon looks better than normal bacon. I got some breakfast. These birds are smart. Better not come from my Is it good? Yeah. Amazing. I took one bite so far. Quick look at Bahamas Freeport. It's is nothing fancy pantsy nancy. Also looks like we have some rain coming in. I do know we are gonna venture on out here. We just have to pay for an Uber. Last time we were here, we were the first cruise to resume sailing in 2020. Y'all remember that? The Adventure of the Seas. Comment down below if you've been here for that long. It's like your second cruise ever. Since you've had more than one bite, how is it now? <laughs> you guys get one of my trolley? I got 12 feet too. I'm okay. I'm okay, thank you so thank much. You. Yeah, thank you. Just please be careful since the first. Right. Yeah, they're, they're, they're dangerous. The they are dangerous. They are dangerous. Thank you. Thanks. Um, the French toast is really good. Eggs are okay. You didn't get any French toast. I know. I was real curious about like the sausage. It looked greasy, but I do want to give it a go. The patty's better than the wiener. Oh, yeah. It's good. But for you, probably not. I do want to talk a little bit about last night. Laura and I both agreed. <laughs> the song choices compared to Independence of the Seas, way better. Mm -hmm. Leading into Miami crowd, just it was because fun. there's a lot of Hispanic music. And they thought, well, we thought they were going to be playing 70s, 80s, and 90s, and we got there. We, we did this off camera. And it, it was Pitbull. Yeah. I love Pitbull. 
Miami music. Mr. 305. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. And then we just passed out. But um, yeah, we definitely are going to get off the ship today. We found a flaw in our room. What is it? So if you go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, you can't flush because the flusher is attached to the main system. So you have to turn on the, all the lights in the entire room in order to flush the toilet. Pretty weird, so, right? Yeah. Really weird, weird, actually. Yeah. <laughs> it's very weird. Yeah, so there's that. This is like the first time, believe it or not, I've been on a cruise where wherever I'm stopping, there's been rain. So. And this port doesn't really have a lot of vibe. Yeah, we, we have to travel. We did bring cash. I think we have to when we were going to. It's just going to be a pretty lousy day because it's going to be raining. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe. It... I think we should start off earlier rather than later. Yeah, I think so, too. Wait a second. That's so true. <laughs> yeah. You can tell him. Laura just... Laura's just like, you know what's crazy? I'm like, what? What? And she goes, there was more people in the live stream yesterday than on the ship. So it does if Kyle and I were on stage for this entire ship plus like 600 more people. That's nuts. That is crazy, That's actually. That's insane. All right, oh, let's go pack up and uh, I guess get out of here. Yeah, let's start Laura and Kyle cruise lines. <laughs> it's like strangely empty. Is everyone still sleeping? No, no one's on the ship, no one's off the ship. Yeah. Did you get all the ghosts? <laughs> These look like a Ghostbuster. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who is that? I don't know. What was that for? I'm kind of scared. Bed bugs? Either someone had COVID or someone had bed bugs. Dude's in a hazmat suit. Bug spray or something. Alright, we're getting off. Um, yeah. <laughs> Off we go. Do we need masks? For what? So they have a lot of people who just doesn't have masks in the terminal. Well, here we are. I would show you outside, but it's a little wet. It's gonna be a day, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Laura. How's it hanging? Welcome to the Bahamas, everyone. <laughs> the big Freeport like shopping center is not open. Again, that's only open, I think, for Royal Caribbean when they come here, because we're too small of a ship for that to probably even put a dent on uh, sales. Right now, we're kind of deciding if we want to go to a beach, because that's where we were going to, but, but it's, like, it's raining. Yeah. We have decided to be one with the rain today and then try it out. So without further ado, let's get a taxi. It's a taxi. <laughs> We're not gonna be stuck on this ship today, I'm telling you. Getting in a huge van of, of people. Taino Beach next stop with the rain incoming. Taino Beach, I don't know, it says Pirates Cove, and one of you guys told us not to go to Pirates Cove, but I think we just have to walk down that way to get to the beach. I don't know, we just wanted to see what's going on. How was your ride over, Laura? I'm vibing. Yeah. When we're in the Bahamas, we know we just go with the flow. That's the Bahamian way. So it looks like $12 to enter here at Pirates Cove. This is where uh, some of you guys told us not to go. So I think we're gonna go to Taino Beach first and then see what happens. Cause uh, how much was the lift over here? How much was that? That was 28 bucks. 28 bucks. I think it's round trip though, so that's not. Yeah, they said just come out here whenever. Do you, let's go to Taino and then if it's not vibing, let's we'll come back here. So I think we just go this way. There's pretty much nobody around it's kind of like we have the whole island to ourselves do y'all remember like our first cruise in 2020 when we actually came here and it was like the second time i came to the bahamas and i was like terrified 
But the Bahamas is just so chill and like very forgiving, you know, that everyone's just so nice. Yeah. Everyone thinks it's dangerous, but it's really not. It's so cool. Look we have this beach this to ourselves. Is. And look at the swings. This sand is is very soft. And you know what? I know one of you guys said don't come to Pirates Cove, but it's not bad. Like look at this. So Kyle and I didn't really come prepared. We barely even brought towels. So I'm pretty sure we're gonna end up at Pirates Cove just cause we have nothing and there is literally nothing here. But we're gonna chill for a little bit and see how it goes. Uh, we just literally don't even have water, so. Look at how calm the water is. Oh, holy cow, it's perfect. Oh, it's so warm. Oh. Wow. Unbelievable. Guys, it doesn't get any better than this. This is perfect. Like, there's nobody here. We have the whole Bahamas to ourselves. Think we'll see a dolphin? Uh, 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 maybe, uh, uh, uh. maybe a shark? That was a seal. Let's keep walking down there. Let's just keep going. Who cares? I think Laura and I are just like excited to be off the ship though. Yeah. It's the first ship that I'm okay with going into a port and not being on the ship. Which is good because then we get to explore new places. I don't know. I like this beach a lot. There's it's nobody nice. here. There's a volleyball court. Do you have volleyball? Nope. <laughs> I don't even have sunscreen. <laughs> A nice romantic honeymoon. Huh? That's just What'd you find? Sea glass. There's a lot of sea glass. <laughs> Great. <didn't> skip. <laughs> Great job. How do you tell the difference between sea glass and normal glass? I don't know. It's not sharp though. No, right? it's not. So, yeah. Sea glass? Yeah, I'm Googling it. We are having a grand time in the Grand Bahamas finding sea glass. <laughs> <laughs> it is, I swear. Interesting. See? It's not sharp. We're just finding every once in a while. To sum up this area in a nutshell, if you want a beach by yourself, nice water, I think this is for you. I'm loving this. Beaches are my favorite thing in the world. I'm living for it. I think we're gonna go check out Pirates Cove for how much was it? Twelve dollars? Yeah, twelve each. bucks. And I think it includes like kayaks and paddle boards, and it says showers <laughs> Shower. and Wi-Fi. We'll find out. We'll see. The swings here are free. <laughs> Imagine if they charge for this. Hi, for the girl. Come get some braids and take some picture with it. <laughs> I'm okay. Thank Come you get so some much. Braids. <laughs> what about me getting braids? I can give you some extensions. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <braids>. <laughs> Pick and choose. They are, they are free. They come with the. Oh, okay, they're cool. Few. Maybe later. You can get some hanging right here. <laughs> get them braids, Laura. All right, I'll do a couple. You're going to do braids? All right, do it. Wait, how much is it? $3 for braids. All right, get, get one. Get, a, get two, you're gonna do three braids? All right. I got some mm. beads. <laughs> <laughs> you got some beads. Where else can you get hair braids? Well, he's been here. On the ocean, on the swing. So don't make it your it's a life experience. Three bucks. Yeah, we'll be back. She wanted to do it. Okay. Gotta support the locals. <laughs> See if I can talk him into it. Talk him into it. Come on, big guy. You're to what? On. To go on the go ocean? What you just said? Yeah. I'm enjoying the Enjoy swing. <laughs> yes. We are. What there we, we go. Everyone? It looks great. Now the big question is, can you wear it while you work? No. <laughs> ah. This will probably be out tomorrow. <laughs> but support the locals, y'all. Yes, yeah, support local. It did get kind of overcast. 
We wanna go to Pirates? Yeah. All right, we gotta walk this way though. Laura and I were gonna rent a car and drive here, but we were worried about parking not being free. Um, no, I was more worried about driving on the other side of the road. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> that was my main concern. Parking's free, by the way. Because we all know who would be driving. <laughs> Laura's the best driver. <laughs> Pirates Cove. The $12 fee, like we said, to get in. Thank you. A more of a low-key chill vibe, at least right now in the season that we're in. Do you think the water's free? No. <laughs> uh, this is kind of cool though, it's like built into a tree. The water they have is Dasani. Oh. $3 per bottle, but if you guys don't know, Dasani, they put salt in their water. We gotta go with what we got. Okay, I'm thirsty. Better than the cruise ship water. That water is horrible. I will say that. Coming in, it said that kayaks and paddle boards were included, but it was kind of like crossed off. But it's an extra 25 an hour for the kayaks and the paddle board. This place is expensive. I don't know what we paid for you admission to, for. It was a cover, basically, like a bar. You had to pay for the, the, the lounge chairs, which I don't know how they tell. Oh, they have a little thing that says you paid for it. Nothing's free here. <laughs> Scammed in the Bahamas. <laughs> well, we could have just stayed on that side. And yeah. But we needed water, so we technically uh, yeah. 15 bucks for our water. <laughs> I'm hoping this table is free. <laughs> so, would you tell people to come here? I would say the, the Tano Beach, is that what it's called? Tano Beach, but not Pirate's Cove. Yeah. I mean, Tano Beach is beautiful, but Pirate's Cove, like, I, I, I don't understand what we paid for. <laughs> Nah, it's a good argument. I mean, we paid a cover to get in here and then nothing's free, so we get it. We They, they gotta make their money, but yeah, be aware of that. I think we're gonna go dip in the pool, or sorry, the ocean. The pool? Let the rain. Go, go, go. It's gonna rain anyways. Didn't even end up raining, but uh, I think we're wrapping it up because we're getting hungry and we're gonna head back to our ship. It's getting cold. Our glorious ship. A very rare occasion though. I think Laura and I both would rather stay at the beach. I know. Well, that's rare for ship. you. It's not rare for me. That's true. I love the beach. We heard there's good pizza, so we're gonna try that on the ship. Like this right here is $65 a day. Pretty expensive. It's a nice beach, beautiful water, but it is uh, like they charge you for everything. <laughs> you get showers. We read somewhere as we're leaving that all it was included, but they actually have it crossed out over here on the banner. So the online information was a little bit misleading, but apparently, um, obviously, you have to pay for everything now. It used to be free. Always a journey. We got a private one this time. <laughs> we got a Green Bay Packer bear. Yes. Heck yeah, baby. <laughs> I said that's the one of the car. She's a crazy Green Bay Packer fan. <laughs> yeah, I love that. <laughs> Different vibe when we got back. Let's get back on. We want to eat. They go through customs. They made it seem like we had to go through like security and questioning, which I'm a little confused. But we just had to go through security, like a bag check. They don't have that at NASA, so kind of interesting that they have it at the port here. We're going back on now. You excited to go back on? 
I am excited to go back on, but I wish that we were at the beach longer. Yeah. But the weather is not the greatest. I wish I was getting on the Disney Wish. <laughs> yeah, this is not a Disney Wish at all. It is not. Not another announcement. Use the tongs, people. If you know, you know. But they have cookies for us. I'll take that. Oh, okay, the pizza place was closed, but the buffet looks absolute fire. Like, come on. Holy camole, I'm so hungry and this looks so good. Also put glasses on. Something is really irritating my eye today. I don't know what it is, so that is not good. Mmm, but this is good. And look what Laura has. She has a cheeseburger. In paradise. Whoa, pun intended. This burger is so good. I'm shocked, honestly. You want to try it? Yeah. Oh my god. It tastes like Dude, that's a really good burger. <laughs> like we said, the food here is actually pretty darn good. And I think I actually want to forego, forego my good food to actually get a burger. Because that burger is literally fire. Well, everybody, I think that's going to be it for today's daily vlog. We'll pick up tomorrow's vlog after a lovely nap here. And we have technically a full day because we have a half day here and like a half day kind of tomorrow in the morning. And um, it's going to be it for this cruise. We have a cruise Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> MSC Davina. I can't wait for that. Bigger ship. Um, obviously going to be a lot better. It's newer as well. But um, hope you guys enjoyed this one a little bit different. And um, yeah, fun times in paradise. Cheeseburger in paradise. All right, we'll see you guys. Hopefully we don't wake up to an announcement because there's one every like five minutes. <laughs>